Alright, here is top 5 tweaks available on iOS 9 jailbreak. Currently tested on an iPhone 5 running iOS 9.3.3. Should work on most 32 bit devices. Should work on pretty much every device nowadays. Uh, I'm pretty sure most developers make it multi compatible with every single iOS. Enjoy! Alright, so to get started, the first week is Spotlight Be Gone. So Spotlight Search is pretty much when you swipe over this way and you have this feature. It sort of lags up your phone. There's also when you swipe down, that's also Spotlight. So the way you get rid of it is you go on Cydia and you type in Spotlight Be Gone. It'll be on the Big Boss repo and it'll automatically enable these two settings which disables Spotlight. Alright, so now when we swipe this way, it no longer works. So when I swipe down, it doesn't work either. And this is good because this will go well with the next tweak. Alright, for this next tweak, you're going to need to add a repo. So it's this Tyler's repo down here. Now the way you add a repo is you just press edit at the top right and you press add. Now you want to make sure you type in the whole thing and you want to make sure you don't accidentally type in if you paste HTTP uh, semicolon slash slash you don't want to accidentally type that in twice because it won't work pretty much you type it in click add source it'll add it then a little dialogue will pop up at the bottom it'll say return to Cydia then you're good to go now the tweak is called Mobius now what you want to do is you want to install it Alright, so now we can swipe all the way around. So this is my home page, and if you see down the bottom, there's those little dots. It moves all the way around, it can go both ways. So you can go from that page to that page. So first to last page instead of being limited. So it looks like you got a million pages, even though you might only have six like I do. So that's Mobius. Alright, this next week is on the Big Boss repo which is already installed on your device. You want to go search, you want to type A-P-O-R-E-O, -E here it is. Now this is a low power saving mode so it'll speed up charging your device. So what you want to do is install, confirm, Alright, so now we restart Springboard. Alright, so now slide to unlock. And now in settings, if we scroll down, we should see Aporio. And so you want to enable it. What it does is it'll put you in low power saving mode when you plug in your phone. So you can alter this to suit the way your lifestyle works. So this one enables low power mode at 20% battery. Uh, when plugged in, it doesn't turn off low power mode at 80%. So that'll charge it faster from 80% to 100. And stay in low power mode even after disconnected means if you're in low power mode while your phone's being charged, if you unplug, it'll still stay in low power mode, which can be good if you're on the go and you're just not thinking about it. Um, disable low power mode at 100%. So this will enable your phone to run perfectly normally while you're plugged in once you reach 100%. So that's probably a good setting to have, but if you're moving about and you're sort of plugging your phone every now and again, I'd probably keep it switched off and I'd probably put stay in low power mode even after disconnected on. So once you've chosen your desired settings, hit apply changes. So I'm going to enable this one and this one. And so pretty much my phone will charge faster because it's in a low power mode, not using power in the background, even when it's charged with the screen off. So just hit apply changes and you're good to go. 
This next tweak is pretty much a necessity and it's called flip control center. Now it's the second one here. It'll probably be the first one for you. Just make sure it's 1.0.3 and make sure your version is compatible. If it's not compatible, you're probably gonna have issues. So you wanna press install and confirm. And now you just wanna restart Springboard Alright, so now when we swipe to unlock and we swipe up, we can edit all of these. See how there's extra um, toggles at the top? Now the way you edit them is you go into settings, scroll down until you see flip control center. So now you can choose which active switches. So these are my ones. This is good if you want to be able to toggle your data, Wi-Fi data or um, mobile data off and on really really easily. Um, we've also got low power, which in my opinion is pretty pretty necessary if you want to be able to easily just flick it on and off without having to go into settings every time. Um, pretty much you just hold down this little bit on the right and you can move it to any location. So if I swipe up and I want to swap Wi-Fi with um, Bluetooth for instance. Uh, you just move it down and now Wi-Fi is in the middle. And this will work for all of them. And if you want to have less, you can choose four, five, three, any amount. And pretty much you can edit these as much as you like. The bottom one, so see where it says flashlight and uh, timer, calculator and photos. You just click active switches and you can add pretty much anything to it. Um, as far as I can tell, you used to be able to add apps, so they might add that feature back in, but pretty much you could load up any game you wanted down the bottom. So be on the lookout, it might get updated, hopefully. All right, this last tweak is a personal favorite and it's on the Big Boss Reaper. What you wanna do is you wanna search up swipe selection. Now I have the pro version, this one usually costs. Um, pretty much just press install, confirm. And then hit restart springboard. Alright, so now, if we open up a new node, and say we type, hello world, now when we swipe across the keys, we can move the cursor. So say for instance, you're like 10 words in and you realize that the second word is spelt wrong, instead of having to hover your finger over to press select, you can just move across the trackpad or treat it like a trackpad and then fix up a letter. So, say I wanted to go hello the world or say I wanted to go and just remove oh, <laughs> very dark but you get the point. Uh, pretty much you can do that. You can also highlight words I believe so world and then you hold down shift and then you slide across and then you can just copy like that it's very easy it saves you from trying to point your thumb over certain words very very easy tweak and everyone pretty much loves it only issue is it costs money but in my opinion it's well worth the money all right that's the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed uh make sure you like and subscribe if you're into this sort of stuff and also let me know if this worked for you. If it didn't, let me know and I'll try and let the developers know. Just let me know your device and what firmware you're running. All right, thanks guys.